Hello everyone, I am thrilled to interview three students from IIT Madras BS in Data Science program and the course instructor Piyush Vairade. They recently attended the Microsoft AI tour in Bengaluru after excelling in the Microsoft Skills Challenge. We will hear about their experiences, key learnings and how this event is shaping their journey in AI and Data Science. Hi, congratulations to all of you on this incredible achievement. Can you each take a moment to give a brief introduction about yourself and your journey in the BS program? So, hello everyone. Uh, thanks for inviting me. I am Piyush Vairade, working as a course instructor at IIT Madras BS degree program from last four years. And also I'm a part of this Microsoft Learn for Educators and upskilling the student in various uh, cloud computing services. Okay, So that's it. Uh, yeah. Over to you, uh, Harshil. Yeah, thank you, sir. So my name is Harshil Parikh, and uh, I'm currently in uh, degree level. I'll be starting my degree this term itself. And uh, uh, in my MS Learn journey, I have done multiple certifications, and this uh, Skill Odyssey challenge was one of them, which I had cleared. And I also done multiple skill challenges and applied skills to clear them. And uh, I had also been uh, to this uh, tour. Uh, two years back, which was very interesting, and this time again, I'm I have I had the privilege to attend. So happy! I'll be excited to share my experience. Over to Gaurish. So hello everyone. Uh, I am Gaurish Alai. I am currently pursuing the IIT Madras BS degree in Data Science. So I have uh, achieved so much certifications in a uh, MS Learn, like uh, AI one zero two, AI nine hundred, etc. And currently, I am in the foundation level of the IIT Madras. That's it. Uh, next to Smith. Hello everyone, myself Smeetal and I am currently in diploma level. I have also achieved uh, like two, two to three certification and along with it I have done applied skill in Microsoft Fabric and uh, along with this year, last year also I had privilege to attend uh, Microsoft's AI tour in Bangalore and that's it, it's all about me. So please tell us about the MSLE and Microsoft Skills Challenge. So we are the part of MSLE, that is Microsoft Learn for Educators from last uh, two years. So what we have done, uh, we have taken various sessions, various workshops for Microsoft certification, like for example, a fundamental level. So this is what we are doing from last uh, two years. We are helping students uh, to get certificate. And also uh, we used to share all the uh, Microsoft challenges or any free certification opportunity that came. So we have already shared this. So we used to share all those uh, challenges and certification with the IIT MBA student. And we have an active community of more than 1000 students on the Microsoft Teams that in which students are helping each other to uh, share knowledge and doing this uh, doing this certification. And this is about the MSLE part. Now about the Microsoft Skill Challenge. So what happens like every month Microsoft will come up with few challenges. So if we complete that, we'll get some badges or we'll get some opportunity to attend the event. Or in some cases, we'll get the certification voucher. So in the Microsoft Skill Challenge, we uh, those who those students who are going to complete a few modules so there are four tracks if anyone complete those all the four tracks and uh, take few certification renewal or applied skill so the students who have completed five certification or applied skill they got the opportunity to attend the microsoft event as well as a photo opportunity with the satya nadella okay so this is regarding the microsoft skills challenge so how did you prepare for the microsoft skills challenge and how you help the students for certification part and for applied skill, uh, I just go on to, I just gone through all the models of uh, Microsoft Learn, which is there on their website, and also done the labs. So as a part of MSLE, we'll get the uh, labs. So I used to share with the students so that they can get some hands-on experience on a job part. So going through all the models and the labs, so that is the way to prepare for any certification as well as for the applied skills. Okay. So this is how I prepared for certification as well as applied skill. And as I said earlier, we have an active community of more than 1000 students on MS Teams. So students used to interact with each other and they help other students to achieve this certification as well as uh, applied skills. So can you share a memorable experience from working with your students or attending the Microsoft event? Yeah, I think the most uh, memorable experience is basically uh, to meet Satya Nadella. So we all got the opportunity to interact with him and also got a photo, official photo that got posted on official Microsoft social media platform and uh, website. So that was a great uh, experience. Also, uh, there are a few, uh, like when we attend the event, there was exhibition uh, hall in that we can see uh, many upcoming uh, trends in the AI. So what 
Microsoft is doing in the field of AI, what products they are launching. So we have uh, discussed about all those products, how we can use those products, for example, GitHub Copilot, right? So how we can uh, use those uh, GitHub Copilot to uh, in our application or day-to-day -day life to write the uh, simple code, right? So that is what we have experienced in the uh, Microsoft AI tool. So what role does industry exposure such as the Microsoft AI tool play in the BS program's objectives? So when we talk about IITM uh, BS degree, it's not just about uh, the like content what we provide, right? It's, we encourage students to participate in such challenges, not just Microsoft. Uh, we used to share all the challenges like hackathons are there, uh, Microsoft used to arrange many challenges. Similarly, Google uh, Cloud used to arrange some challenges. So we used to share this information with the student. We expect students to complete these challenges because it's very important for the student to get upskill uh, themselves in this uh, services or these tools, right? So apart from the uh, course that we provide uh, to the student, we want them to uh, be active in the challenges or hackathons or whatever the competitions that various company uh, arrange, right? How did you approach the Microsoft Skills Challenge and what was the key to your success? I think uh, I can go ahead and take this up. So yeah, uh, firstly, the approach to this MSLE uh, challenges and any other challenges that Microsoft provides is like uh, Piyush sir mentioned, the labs, okay? They are the key to anything. So they are also the key to success. So whenever you, uh, Microsoft provides a list of applied skills and all of these applied skills have challenges in them, which are labs and also the IITM team provides with labs practice on. So all of that can be done. Resources are provided on the MSLE portal. All of that is already available. We just have to go on there and study and maybe uh, get hands-on experience. Also, like you mentioned, we have a very good uh, amount of people in the communities who are active and they are always ready to answer your queries. The IITM team is there. So there is there are plenty of resources to practice on and get hands on and get a good experience which is required to pass the credentials and the examinations and certifications. And uh, finally, I would say that uh, the success uh, heavily depends on your uh, not on your experience, the prior experience, but totally on how many resources you practice on. So try to uh, get as much as you can your hands on because we have many resources like I mentioned earlier, like uh, MSLE portal is there, labs are there, challenges are there multiple uh, resources are available we just need to get uh, the have the proper uh, determination and uh, be able to pass that uh, certification or applied skill what were your key takeaways from the microsoft ai tool uh, so basically major uh, key takeaways uh, were like uh, microsoft is basically innovating in new technologies like uh, microsoft is expanding uh, or like launching new products like my uh, AI Foundry and Microsoft Fabric. So my major uh, takeaway was like exploring new technology and knowing how is it working. And one like a quote given by Charu Srivasan ma'am uh, in the session, it was like, be like a sponge, not a rock. It It is one major uh, key takeaway, which I have uh, taken from that conversation. And along with it, I would suggest everyone to like, explore new technologies and um, see uh, how the world is going going along with uh, innovation and all sort of things. How has this event shaped your perspective on AI and its role in your career? As this event gave me a clear understanding of how AI is transforming the industries and the, creating the opportunities for the innovation. So seeing the practical applications like how Copilot can assist with the coding and the productivity tasks, mm -hmm. it made me realize that the AI is already a part of our everyday life. So we will continue to grow its importance in our life. So it also motivated me to think about how I can contribute to building impactful AI solutions. So discussing on the responsible uh, AI practices, which made me realize that it's not just about creating a powerful tools, but it is, it is also about ensuring they are used ethically and inclusively. So this event has inspired me to stay updated with the AI advancements and to work together for building the solutions. So which can be used for the real world applications. So as of now, I see AI as the field 
that offers endless opportunity for everyone else to follow the growth. So it has made a meaningful impact in my life. So did you get a chance to interact with industry professionals or peers who left a lasting impression? Uh, yes, I had the privilege of attending the photo opportunity with this Nadella, which was an unforgettable experience. So his keynote session really inspired me, uh, especially when he spoke about how tools like our co-pilot studio are empowering users to create a AI agents. So in that we will not require any coding knowledge. So I also interacted with our industry professionals during the workshops. So in there one of the session that stood out to me was like of a Azure AI foundry where I learned how the multi models uh, like uh, GPT, DALI, which can generate text, uh, images and sound etc. So this hands-on experience uh, gave me the practical insights on the potential of the generative AI. So what motivated you to pursue this challenge and how the IITM BS program has supported your journey? I have always been fascinated how uh, technology, especially AI, how is transforming the world. So when I heard about the Microsoft AI tool and the skill challenge, uh, I saw it as a great opportunity to learn from the industrial leaders, especially the Satya Nadella, and exploring the new technologies in the AI. So I was curious to see how AI can be used in a real world scenarios. So I want to experience in a hands-on. That's why in that IIT Madras helped me in a key part of this learning journey. Even though I'm currently at the foundation level, this program has helped me develop a strong program solving and the critical thinking skills. That's why it has given me the confidence to explore the advanced topics like uh, AI and to participate in such events. I would like to thank IITM for giving this incredible opportunity and selecting me for this AI. So what ideas or projects are you currently working on in the program that align with advancements like AI Foundry? Uh, like currently I am going to uh, do the project that is like an accident detection which will be used to detect the accidents in the real life scenarios like it will be integrated in the CCTVs etc. Also I am uh, going to do a project on a, like a surveillance camera like in the uh, event there was a Nevedia uh, exhibition where they are told about uh, very much about that so I am going to uh, do the project on that. How do you envision using the insights gained from Microsoft AI tool to solve real world problems? Basically uh, AI, Microsoft's AI tool, it was incredible experience for me. It gave me one new perspective to see how AI can be used in different fields like uh, when Satya Nadella gave keynote session, he discussed various real-time uh, problems like which they are solving by using Azure, like Microsoft tools, Azure and all that tools. Uh, one problem was of healthcare. Uh, they have used Microsoft, uh, like Azure in healthcare also uh, for like a person. Uh, there is meeting going on discussing about tumor. Uh, so it is very critical part. Uh, so the tool will be summarizing it and also uh, they'll be able to uh, like ask some questions uh, to the tool and get the correct output and also one of the ex uh, like one real world problem was of uh, agripilot.ai which was of Baramati it is a startup and basically they are using uh, AI to increase the crop yield and uh, add on to it one problem was of uh, like breaking language ba barrier like as if now we are in a meeting and for example there is a, some language barrier among us uh, some of us know Marathi, Hindi, uh, Tamil or any other language so if I am speaking in Marathi it will be translated to um, Hindi language and they will be able to hear Hindi uh, from their end. Uh, this is also one of the projects that Microsoft is working on and uh, like I have also participated in Code Without Barriers uh, Microsoft's hackathon. Like this was my early experience where I built one uh, like PDF summarization PDF interaction tool in which uh, the complex problem which were summarized and given by my model. So this uh, all over experience of exploring new uh, tools that summarized me to uh, create some real world problems and give a project which I'll be able to uh, like make it myself. So this was uh, all real world problems. I
So Harshal, um, as you have done many Microsoft certifications and applied skills, can you tell us how you prepared for it and have you implemented the skills you learned in your work or project? Yeah, I've done uh, multiple certifications uh, of Microsoft and uh, the key to doing certifications is also that you need to stay up to date with what technology Microsoft is launching. So uh, the latest certifications uh, Microsoft is uh, planning is on AI and uh, in the AI tour also they mentioned a lot of technology which is going to be directly linked with generative AI. So we need to be very prepared on that and the uh, the main projects that I have worked on or where I have integrated uh, or will where on which I'll be working on. So I would like to uh, highlight a key uh, experience of mine. So in that time, currently uh, Azure Community Builder, which is a program which was launched uh, with the help of IIT Madras team and in which we uh, I was one of the uh, community builders and we had the opportunity to uh, build a project and the students had to uh, or the participants had the uh, had to participate in that and uh, we had to build a project and ask them to build it and it was a competition so the winners would be uh, evaluated and the results would be they would be appreciated the winners would be applauded so in that the project i made was ai career path recommender and that project was made using uh, traditional tools and services uh, like azure ml studio and logic apps builder so but all and uh, web app service as well just to name a few so uh, in uh, in this tour when they talked about ai foundry so what they really uh, meant by that was instead of using the traditional microsoft services they have now just like gaurish mentioned that they have now integrated it with uh, third party uh, ai tools as well like open ai as well as uh, dolly so uh, what how this would align with the project just to give an example of how this scenario would work so uh, just like uh, azure open ai service it would work in parallel with azure ml studio so instead of traditionally building and training your models on the cloud which was already easier they have made it more easier by just allowing to uh, the user to prompt what the, how do they want to train the model or how do they want to deploy the model so as a data scientist and as a data analyst just imagine how easier would it make to train the models and deploy the models right and similarly for logic apps they have now power automate uh, as a part of ai foundry so it's also a flow builder but in terms of more flexible with more enhancements and more uh, connections possible so all in all i would say that the uh, possibilities of scalability and accessibility has been increased in a very vast way by microsoft by in integrating generative ai in most of the tools and services so it's a very great opportunity for those who are already in development as well as who are planning to uh, use the advancements of ai so anyone who is uh, part of this degree and is uh, and uh, uh, is at least looking for a career in ai this is the right moment to strike in and microsoft is a, is waving, is uh, uh, paving a very uh, success, a very simple and straight path towards it so thank you for taking the time to share your insights and experiences with us we wish you all the best in your endeavors and thank you again for being the part of this interview